Hi you guys, it's Karina. So I am here to show you guys a quick tutorial on my Templates 90 because I don't think she has a video tutorial here on my YouTube channel. She does on my Instagram TV. Um, if you want to watch that um, video tutorial, just go to Ariel Lease Designs, go to my videos, my series, tutorials, um, and just scroll and look for template 90. She's definitely one of my favorite templates. Um, she's very simple to assemble. Um, and you can make from smaller petals or smaller petals, smaller flowers, roughly around five inches, um, anywhere up to like 18, 19 inches. So it's definitely a template that if you want to make smaller you know, flowers to larger flowers, you definitely can. Um, and again, I'm going to show you the way I like to use her petals. Um, and then obviously you just follow the same steps if you want to make larger or smaller petals. Okay. Um, but yeah, so she, like I said, this is my template 90. Um, very obsessed with her because she's such a simple flower to make. This one is missing a center. Typically, I like to just add gems to the smaller ones just because I think it's so pretty um but you can also use floral centers if you want that is also an option I believe this is my pink center too um that I used as the floral center for these so pretty much what you're going to do is you're just going to need three petals pick any three consecutive okay so three in a row um, so these are kind of in the middle petals that I chose. Um, but again, if you want to make them larger, then use the larger petals. If you want the smaller ones, then use the smaller petals. Um, so let me tell you how many you need. You're going to need 10 of the largest, five, and then five of these as well. Um, the one on Instagram TV is slightly different. The video tutorial, um, where I do 10 10 and then four but sometimes I like to switch it up and just do 10 five and five okay and that's what we're gonna do today and again this is just me showing you how to um but you can use a template as you wish as many layers as you want there's there's no wrong way you're going to need a wooden dowel to help you curl with you are going to need a pair of scissors i am using cardstock 65 pound weight i want to say this is from spring hill the paper that i am using and then you're also going to need a glue gun so i'm going to be using my lint and lily typically this is my go-to glue gun for medium to smaller size flowers anything larger um above 15 or anything that i use the sure bonder as well but i use the larger full size um glue gun so let's get started so you're going to start off with your first larger petals and you're going to need five of them first so this is going to be your first your first layer okay you're going to get your wooden dowel and you're just going to give the petals let me show you with one inwards just like that and this is the only layer that's not going to require any cutting in the center okay and just curl them just like that okay i'm going to move this to the side because i just wanted to give you guys an example of what they looked like so let's move these over here All right, let's be good. So you're gonna start with your first petal. Add a little dot of glue. Glue the next one. Next petal, and you're only adding a small dot at the end just in case if we need to readjust the petals because I don't always space them right the first time. But this is what you want just like that you want to have that hexagon in the center now we need to go ahead and cover this up let me go get a scrap piece of paper the same color you want all right i forgot to get up, grab that all right you guys so i cut out my circle remember you want it the same color and then just place 
So then you're going to get, so you're gonna do this now to the rest of your petals where you are going to, same thing, curl the ends inwards, grab your scissors, cut in the center, glue, just like that. And then you're gonna glue the next five. So this is still the same size as the first layer. And you're just going to rotate around. Definitely, I definitely recommend this template, especially like if you're a beginner, because I mean, it's not a hard template whatsoever. Um, and it's so versatile where like, if you switch up the center, I just feel like it gives it a different look. Typically my go-to for this center or for this flower center is the spiral center that I like to do. Well, it's kind of the spiral. It's like a rounder spot. Go to my website, www.arielleasedesigns.com and the main picture you will see what I am referring to for the template. So she does come in PDF, hard copy, and SVG, okay? So SVG means that you're able to cut this out with your machine. Now, with me, I personally, when it comes to the larger petals like this, I hand cut them just because I don't have the patience for my Cricut machine to cut out um, these petals when I can just layer up my cardstock and cut four sheets at a time. Because, um, you know, with Cricut, you just got to load, unload, load, unload. I don't have the patience, you guys. But definitely when I'm working with my smaller ones, say this size, then better believe I do use my Cricut machine for that. You can also use it for Silhouette as well. Any cutting machine that really allows you to upload um, SVGs. PDF, that is if you hand cut by yourself. Um, I just, well, the websites... Um, they will send you the email with the download and you are pretty much going to print out. Uh, my recommendation is if your printer is able to take cardstock, upload the cardstock, and then print out the template and just cutting out and then you have your own hard copy template. Okay. Um, so as you can see, I am on to the next layer, repeating the same process. This is the next size up and it's five, and we are just going in between. Now, in hard copy template, that is me personally making you the hard copy template, and then I mail it out to you, okay? Um, so that is a difference, so there's definitely a little bit of something for everyone. And again, you can find these all at www.arielalisedesigns.com. There you can also find the floral pink centers um, that I am using for today, which is pink center two. Okay, now that one, you it does require you guys to use a cutting machine, okay, just FYI. But I mean, any center honestly works for this. All right, so as you can see, it's an easy flower. I don't think it's time consuming whatsoever. And you are on to your next five. And you are repeating the process. Cutting in the center. Gluing. Now, when it comes to my last layer, I always add glue to the right side. Well, I guess it depends. For me looking at it, it's the right side. Um, and I just add my petal so that way when I do the last petal, I am able to tuck her in. And I'll show you what I mean with that, but that's pretty much what I do. Okay, last one. the glue and we are tucking it in right here I'm just lift oh this one lifting it up sliding her underneath 
okay so this is so now i'm just going to add glue and voila do you see how quick that was super quick so now we need a floral center so i am using my pink floral center too because i want something quick i don't want anything time consuming because you typically like i said i mean i like to use my marigold image a lot um, from Cricut Design Space and create a spiral. This isn't the spiral one. This is just a typical palm, but I mean, that would have been cute too, just like that. Um, <laughs> but this requires a lot of time, you know, cutting, and I don't, <laughs> I need something quick. So I'm going to do my pink floral center too. So with that being said, I first need to measure out the center to see how big I need to make this floral center because I don't want to be just guessing. So what I do is I get my measuring tape. You can get a ruler. And then I like to measure and see how big I want my lar my largest one to be. So I think I'm gonna go four, four inches. And then I'm just gonna size down. Typically I do three, three to four sizes um, just because I want more volume, I don't know, <laughs> more fuller look. Um, so with this one, I did three layers, as you can see. And my my look here is just going contrast color. So see here, we got a lighter blue with a darker blue. So with this one, because this is slightly darker pink, I think I'm going to go a slightly lighter pink for the center. Okay, so let me go ahead and cut those centers out and I'll be right back. All right, you guys, so I have my three images cut. Definitely, if you want to add more, you definitely can. Um, typically, I do three, but you can definitely add more. Like I said, if you want a fuller look, I just typically just go down like two sizes down um, to kind of do the layering. So then now, I'm just going to add a little bit of glue. I'm going to grab the next size. Floral center. Add the next size. And that's pretty much it, you guys. And she's all done. And then you can just glue her in the center, and you're all done. Now, if you want to jazz her up a little, you can always add a gem in the center if you want and see how that changes the look oh love it um and i mentioned this before i'm totally slacking but they're coming um i will be adding gems to my website look how cute love it see so I, see i would definitely add a gem just so um it pops a little more but as i was saying i am going to be start um selling on my um, website gems just because I always get asked like where do I get my gems so I'm gonna start selling packs um, of different gems and little sets um, for you guys if you guys are interested so I will definitely keep you guys posted as to when those will be releasing on my site I'm hoping by the beginning of the year that is my goal um, to have these ready for you guys um, just because again I'm obsessed with gems like look at these Ugh. and I'm telling you it changes the look of your like look how pretty even with the small ones and just adding a little cute little gem but yeah so as you can see that is such a simple flower to make um definitely you're just gonna have to add your glue on the back and then place her in the center And then if you want, you can definitely like lift up these little, what would you call them, pistols? I don't even know. If you kind of want to make them a little bit more 3D, you know, popping, you definitely can. But I hope you found that helpful, you guys. So again, this... Hi guys, sorry, my battery died. Um, but as I was saying, this is my template 90. I hope you found that helpful. Just follow the same steps if you wanna make larger or smaller um, flowers. So this template does come with 15 petals. So you definitely, like I said, you can definitely make multiple um, size flowers with this particular template. So you can find her at www 
www.arielalisedesigns.com if you're interested in the center floral center this is pink floral center too if you are interested there's other floral centers not a lot just because i'm dabbing into that world now of creating my own centers but there's quite a few there um and again if you want to watch the other video on this you can find it on my instagram tv at ariel elise designs um i will have it linked under my um if you go to my website it'll be under the description if you just want to copy and paste okay you guys and i hope you guys found that helpful and i will chat with you guys later bye